Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. P and welcome back today for another Fortnite Battle Royale video. Now today guys, we've got some seriously important information about the return of a rare skin. I might say it's arguably the most rare skin in the history of Fortnite making a return in the item shop. It looks like it at least. I'm going to go over everything in this video guys, but if you could do me a favor and drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new guys. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into it. So I want to start off by showing off the brand new item shop. It just updated five minutes ago on July 19th. There are some brand new skins, gliders, and pickaxes. So you can see here is the Masked Fury. He is a wrestler. This was a leaked skin from a while ago. There's also a female version of this guy called the Dynamo. They look really, really cool. Personally, I don't know if I'm going to buy just because I don't know if it's my favorite, but definitely a cool skin and probably worth worth picking up if you think it looks awesome. The glider for this set is called the Libre and as you can see it looks a lot like the Ravens glider. It basically is a reskin of that exact model with the wings and everything. But still it's updated with completely new colors and a completely different color scheme and for only 800 V bucks it's definitely worth buying if you think it looks good. Now the axe is actually called the pile driver. Overall I'm pretty pleased about this item shop. I think you know, a lot of people will get a lot of use out of what just came out, but personally, I'm really looking forward to the Chomp Jr., aka the shark skin that was leaked a while ago. I'm probably going to instantly be buying that one just because I think it looks the coolest, and that's the most important thing to bear in mind when you're looking at buying skins. It's not how popular is the skin or what will other people think of the skin if I buy it. It's what you personally want, you know? If you see a skin that other people don't like, but you very much do like it, it's definitely worth buying. It doesn't matter what anyone else says, and that's kind of the bottom line. People always ask me, hey, is this skin worth buying? And I would say, yeah, if you love it and you think it looks good, definitely, and no one can argue with that. Now, to promote these new skins in the item shop on Twitter, Fortnite actually posted this picture as they normally do, but there's something very, very important in the bottom left corner of this picture. There is a specific skin in particular, this girl skin I'm zooming in on here, and if you don't know what this skin is called, I don't blame you, but it is from Season 1, and it is arguably the most rare skin in the entire game. It's one of the most overlooked rare skins ever. It's called the Renegade Raider. She came out in Season 1. She cost 1,200 V-Bucks, and only the true OGs from Fortnite have her or even remember her. She was only in the shop one time and statistically, she's even more rare than the Skull Trooper and the Ghoul Trooper. Epic loves to do these teasers for upcoming skins on Twitter in these pictures. For example, they have frequently posted stuff about the Merry Marauder, aka the Gingerbread Man skin, coming back. He has been in the background of a lot of these, you know, skin teasers on Twitter, and it's highly assumed that he will be coming back eventually. Uh, there's been this whole thing about Christmas in July, maybe seeing him very soon, but one way or another, we're expecting to see the Gingerbread Man come back into the item shop very soon, and now it looks like we could very well expect the same exact thing from the Renegade Raider, which personally, I would be extremely excited about. The skin itself is a very simple design, but it's one that I think a lot of people would truly enjoy. There's not that much going on, but the skin is important because it has a lot of clout. It would have a lot less clout though once this skin actually drops in the item shop, but still, it's a skin that almost no one has seen in Fortnite, especially in game. Like, you might have heard about it, but what are the chances that you've actually seen it in game on a character? Probably very slim to none. If this skin actually does come out and the gifting system comes out soon, I'm going to be giving away a couple Renegade Raiders to you guys. So if you want a chance to win one of the most popular skins ever, ever in Fortnite Battle Royale, make sure to go ahead and drop a like on the video and comment down below your epic ID for whatever console you play on. I'm going to be doing my best to hook as many of you guys up as I possibly can with this awesome skin. Alongside the Renegade Raider is actually an extremely rare pickaxe too called the Raider's Revenge. Back in Season 1, things worked a little bit differently. You had to be level 35 on the Battle Pass just to be able to purchase this axe, so it's extremely rare, even more rare than almost any other pickaxe in the game now because it's not like you could just buy the battle pass and then rank up and unlock it, you had to buy the battle pass, get level 35 in the game just to be able to spend 1500 V-Bucks on the axe itself. 
Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff in the comment section down below, and the very important thing here is even if you don't really like the design of Renegade Raider, which I don't really see how, it's a really good skin. It's simple, yet effective, but even if you don't like her and you don't care, this is important for the re-release of any other rare skin you might want, like the Skull and Ghoul Trooper. They've already re-released the Red Knight, it looks like they're going to re-release the Merry Marauder, and now if this goes through, it's almost a sure thing the Skull Trooper will go back through at some point down the line. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and definitely let me know your thoughts on the Renegade Raider returning to the shop in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your opinions and your feedback, because like I've said before, you guys really make my channel, so I appreciate it more than you'll ever know, and your feedback is extremely invaluable to me. So if you have anything you want to say, make sure you drop it in the comments. With that said, guys, hopefully you have a great day, and until next time, take it easy, and peace out.